We talked about focal length and focal points before, but to do a quick recap of focal points, we can have either real focal points or virtual focal points. A converging lens, a positive lens, has a real focal point. A diverging lens, a negative lens, has a virtual focal point. Virtual focal points are negative, real focal points are positive. Vertex distance. The vertex distance is the distance from the back of the lens to the cornea, or in other words, how far away the lens is from the eye. Vertex distance becomes a factor when changing lens distance. For instance, if you're going from glasses to contacts or vice versa, contacts to glasses, you want to take into account the distance that you're changing. Um, and then with prescriptions under um, minus four or plus four, it really doesn't matter. It's such a small amount. But when you get up into the higher prescriptions, then you really need to take it into consideration. And I'll show you why. Okay, let's say we have a patient that comes into the office and is the eyeglasses are working fine for this patient. They're wearing a plus 12 diopter lens. And those eyeglasses are sitting 10 millimeters from their eye. In other words, the vertex distance is 10 millimeters. Now this patient wants contacts. And what do we do to find the contact lens power? First, we want to find out the focal length of a 12 diopter lens, which is a piece of cake since we know the power. So this patient is seen really well with a lens that has a focal length of 8.33 centimeters. Look what happens when we take this lens and we move it onto the eye. Oh, look, the patient was seeing really well when that focal length fell on the red dotted line, but now the focal length is too long for the red dotted line, too long by, oh, look, one centimeter. Now we need to have a shorter focal length. We need a shorter focal length by one centimeter. So we need a focal length of 7.33 centimeters for this patient because it has to fall on that red dotted line. So how do we figure out what power lens yields a focal length of 7.33 centimeters? Before we use our focal length formula, let's just common sense this for a second. Are we going to need a higher power lens or a lower power lens? So when we decrease the vertex distance by moving the lens closer to the eye, we require a higher plus lens. So we just substitute our 7.33 centimeters in for our focal length, do the math, we come out with 13, oh, don't forget to convert to meters. We come out with 13.6 diopters, which I'm gonna round to 13.5. And that's a big difference from 12, I would say, for our patient. What we just did there is called the compensated power formula. It wasn't actually the formula, it was the theory. I'm gonna go over the formula a little bit later. Um, I just wanted you to get the theory down. It's called the compensated power formula because it, it's how you compensate if you change the vertex distance, bring the lens closer or farther away. What if this same patient, when they came in, we didn't compensate for the change in vertex distance? What if we gave this patient a plus 12 contact lens? What would happen? Well, there's a formula for that. It's called the effective power formula. And what it tells us for this patient would be what that 12, that plus 12 diopter contact lens is going to behave like in relation to the plus 12 eyeglass lens placed a centimeter from their face. And what we need to know in order to figure that out using this effective power formula is we need to know the original lens power, which we do, it's a plus 12 diopter. And we need to know the change in vertex distance in meters. Well, we know it's one centimeter, so it's 0 0.01 meter. And we just plug our numbers into the formula, do the math, and we find that this contact lens effectivity 
would be like a 10.71 diopter lens for this patient. So which prescription is correct? What is this patient's actual prescription? Well, they're both correct. The prescription depends on the vertex distance. That's the whole point I'm trying to make here. And it especially depends when you get up into those higher prescriptions. With the lower ones, not so much. We sort of ignore it. It doesn't, it's not enough to matter. And to illustrate this point, I'm gonna make this patient a pair of clown glasses. I'm gonna make this patient a pair of clown glasses that sit out from their face 20 centimeters. The vertex distance is 20 centimeters. And since the lenses were already sitting out one centimeter, that's an addition of 19 centimeters. So we need 19 additional centimeters in our focal length added to our already 8.33 centimeters to get that focal point onto that red dotted line, which is where the patient needs it to be in order to see. We need a total focal length of 27.33 centimeters. So my clown glasses that I made would only need lenses with the strength of plus 3.65 diopters for this patient to see clearly out of them. So let's recap. When we have a plus lens and we move it towards the eye, that lens is going to lose plus power. So we had our plus 12 lens, we turned it into a contact lens, put it on the eye, and it became a plus 10.71 lens. So what do we have to do? You have to add power to compensate when you go from glasses to contacts, for instance. Now, when we have that lens, that same lens, and we're moving it away from the eye, that lens gains power. And we moved that lens 19 centimeters away from the eye, and it gained so much power, I wonder what that patient would have seen out of that plus 12 lens. But all that patient actually needed that far away was a plus 3.65. So when you move the lens away from the eye, if it's a plus lens, you have to remove power to compensate for that. Okay, we're back at the office. Now we have a patient come in wearing a minus 12 diopter lens with a vertex distance of 10 millimeters, one centimeter. And this patient wants contacts. <laughs> I would too. What is the best power of contact lens for this patient? Well, first of all, remember with a concave lens, our focal length is negative and virtual. So if we're going to move this lens onto the eye in order to keep our focal point in the same spot, where, right where it is, our focal length needs to be longer by one centimeter. So all we need to do is figure out what power will give us a negative 9.33 centimeter focal length. patient that wears minus 12 eyeglass lenses needs a minus 1075 contact lens. So when we had our hyperopic patient go from a plus 12 spectacle lens to a contact lens, we had to increase power to compensate. We went from a plus 12 to a plus 1350. In this patient, a minus 12, same vertex distance, we're going from a minus 12 to a minus 1075, we're decreasing strength. Okay, let's take our myopic patient and figure out what would have happened if we just put a minus 12 contact lens on their eye instead of compensating for the change in vertex distance. So with this patient, a minus 12 contact lens would have seemed like a minus 13.63 eyeglass lens. So should we do some clown glasses for this patient? Yeah, let's do it. 
Okay, we're going to give these new glasses a vertex distance of six centimeters, which is five centimeters away from where they were before. They were at one centimeter, now they're at six. So we moved them five centimeters. So we had a focal length of minus 8.33 centimeters. Now we have a focal length of minus 3.33 centimeters. So let's plug this into our focal length formula and find out what kind of power we're going to need for this lens in order to make this patient see clearly. Thirty diopters. Wow, we're going to need a thirty diopter lens if we want to move it out five centimeters. Very simple, and yet it can be a little confusing. Here's the mnemonic: closer, add, plus, cap. That means that you, as the refractionist, must add plus because both lenses, plus and minus, when they move closer to the eye, lose plus. So what happens to a plus lens when it loses plus? It gets weaker. What about a minus lens when it loses plus? It gets more minus or stronger. So if you add more plus to a plus lens, you're going to strengthen it. If you add more plus to a minus lens, you're going to weaken it. And that's exactly how it works if the vertex distance is shorter because the eyeglass lens is moved closer to the eye or the eyeglass lens is changed into a contact lens and placed on the eye. So losing plus means gaining minus and gaining plus means losing minus. And when you move a lens away from the eye, it gets more plus. So the plus gets stronger and the minus gets weaker. Well, I did not get to put all the formulas that I wanted to in this video because I think there's so much to digest as is. So maybe I'll do a little follow-up video and just do some of the little formulas that relate to this vertex distance. But for now, thanks for watching.